Hey everyone, welcome back to a new NetTouch video quick tip. My name is Jeffrey Wei. Uh, we have a lot to cover today. So I want to teach you about uh, less.js, which is really awesome. So you might be familiar with less or there's another one called SAS, and it's pretty much just easier and more efficient ways to code your CSS by using variables, mixins, uh, operators, and things of that nature. Uh, it was originally made with Ruby, which means, especially for our readers, a lot of uh, PHP devs just never got around to doing it, even though there were PHP implementations available. Luckily, it's been rewritten in JavaScript, which means it's faster, and any of us can use it. So it's not 100% complete yet, but uh, it's actually working surprisingly well. So let's go into uh, Coda, and I'm going to show you a few things that you can do with it. So the first step is we need to reference a style sheet, but with a extension of .less rather than .css. So we'll do that right now. Link rel equals style sheet slash less. Remember that, and the ref is going to be style .less. Okay, and now we need to import uh, less. So it's actually stored on Google. So if you want to just scroll down to the bottom here of this example, uh, there you go. You can reference it right there. Okay, so let's come back to our project. And now we can begin working with it. So within my style.less file, the first one I'm going to show you is variables. So let's say the primary color for your application is going to be, uh, just for the example, red. Notice that I'm not putting that within uh, quotes. So let's set, and we're going to set container. And this is just going to reference this div I created right here. And we'll say, let's just give it a quick width and height to set some values. And now we'll set background is going to be primary color. Come back, and now it's been set. So the great thing about this is no matter how many times you state your primary color, in this way you only set it one time, and you only need to change it once to affect your entire project. Pretty cool. Uh, the next one I want to show you is nested. So we can actually nest uh, additional elements within here. So if we want to reference container and the anchor tag, while you would normally do container A, right? you can actually place it right, right in here. So if I do A, that inherits the selector of container. So if I wanted to do color green, and just for the example, let's come and add another anchor tag outside of the div as well, just to show that it is being inherited. And of course, let's change that from green to red. Okay, so now it's actually inheriting that selector above. So it's cleaner, you don't have to rewrite these long selectors. Of course, you can do the same thing for hover events as well. Really cool, isn't it? Uh, the next thing I want to show you is mixins. So the most common example for mixins is rounded corners because we all use them. So let's set a rounded. And we uh, create variable names, if you don't know, using the at symbol. So we'll set rounded radius. And we'll set a default value of maybe five pixels, okay? And now here, all we want to do is set mas border radius is going to be equal to radius. So if they pass in a value, it'll receive that. If they don't, it'll use the default value of five pixels. And finally, border radius. And now container, let's go ahead and inherit that. And we're just going to call rounded. So by default, you see that it receives that. If we want to override it, we'll just pass that. Okay, so that's about all I have time for. You can see with mixins, uh, you have a lot of power. You can imagine doing this to compensate for like the box model where, you know, if you're floating elements and then you add padding and border, it makes the element too large and it falls onto its own line. You can actually use operators to do something like uh, border minus padding, and that would be equal to the width of your element. So you can get really creative with this. I'd love to know what you think, and we can talk more in the comments. Thanks. Bye.